Bismillahirrahmanirrahim Assalamu alaikum wa rahmatullah Today we have seen a very interesting case of an old lady who came for carotid doppler we have seen a very rare finding of uh, small webs in uh, carotid bulbs on both sides so we are in discussing few more things about uh, carotid uh, web its differential diagnosis and uh, treatment here we can see this is uh, ct angiogram with uh, 3d images we can see a shelf like projection because of web in proximal internal carotid artery on both these images here we can see on ultrasound of the carotid there is shelf like projection in proximal portion of the internal carotid artery similarly we can see and confirm this on uh, ct scan both on uh, coronal reformatting and on 3d image similar changes can also be seen on this mr angio of the carotids this is another example of uh, ct angio of the carotid we can see in all three images there is a shelf like web in proximal most portion of the internal carotid artery here we have an example of a conventional carotid angiogram where we can see a shelf like projection in proximal portion of uh, internal carotid artery here on these images we can see there is uh, stasis of the contrast on late images which means this stasis will lead to clot formation and emboli leading to stroke here we have a schematic diagram where we can see there is stasis of the blood distilled to web leading to clot formation and stroke usually webs are very uncommon and we need to differentiate these webs from atheromatous plaques and dissection of intima webs do not usually cause uh, liminal nerving but problem occurs when there is disturbance in the flow pattern just ahead of uh, web which leads to clot formation and strokes there are three treatment options number one is uh, antiplatelet which is a medical treatment number two is uh, stent placement in the carotid arteries and uh, number three is a carotid endarterectomy that is uh, we remove the web through a surgical procedure thank you very much assalamu alaikum rahmatullah